Vilevalo from him. Yes, you're looking at the fish. Look at the fish, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and I have some a uh, few questions for Ville Ville. In Finland, you're a sex symbol. Do you agree? I don't know. You should ask the ladies. <laughs> but I, no, I don't get any more lucky than an average plumber. Yeah. Yeah. How does it um, do? It, are you a happy and a, a really into frontman for a band? Do you love to be a frontman? No, I'm scared of it. I, I was supposed to be the bass player for him yeah. or, or a drummer, but we couldn't find a singer. So that's the reason why I, why I started singing. I, I still don't really feel comfortable. I, I love singing, but being on stage, being in the center, it's, it's nerve-wracking. I always get the butterflies and I was scared to death before a gig. You got a Klaus Kinski tattoo, mm -hmm. uh, ready to show it? Yeah, if you insist. Yeah. Yes, Klaus Kinski. Klaus Kinski. There we go. Klaus Kinski sucking on his thumb on a naked chick. <laughs> <laughs> He's one of my all-time heroes. New CD is coming out. Screamworks, Love and Klaus Theory. Kinski works. Oh, so okay. <laughs> Klaus Kinski in theory and practice. <laughs> Which is your favorite movie by Klaus Kinski? Uh, I really don't know. I haven't seen all of them. A lot of his stuff has has been, you know, a lot of the uh, German stuff hasn't been translated. I haven't mm. seen the stuff with subtitles. I like actually documentary stuff. Then some of the stuff he, he did the poetry readings. Yeah. You know, where yeah, he's like yeah, just yeah, yeah, yeah. going all crazy. That's good. Uh, well, ich bin so wild nach deinem Erdbeermond. I think so. Yeah. The, you know, it's, it's weird stuff. And then obviously the, the biography, the, the one he wrote the book. Was, was he crazy? Yeah. Crazy <laughs> in a good way. Crazy <laughs> in a good way. But one of my idols. Um, yeah, Werner Herzog's um, Nostrad was a good one. A slow one, hardy one, but a good one. When you started as a musician, your idols were Black Sabbath and Led Zeppelin. Do you feel like you are idols to other people today? Are there young people coming up, uh, or young people coming up to you and saying, "Oh, we get inspired by your music or inspired by your behavior or whatever"? By my behavior, <laughs> <Yeah. That's> a <laughs> rockstar behavior. <laughs> inspired by that, oh lord. Um, let's say the funniest thing was uh, I was in Helsinki in a pub with my friend playing pool, and this beautiful, beautiful young lady came to me and said, "Hey, are you Villa? Do you sing for the band Ham?" Like, yeah, 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 I do. And she was like, yeah, I loved you when I was a teenager. I was like, oh, Lord, I'm that old. That was pretty good. But, uh, um, yeah, occasionally some musicians are saying that, yeah, we have inspired them. But uh, that's a good thing, I guess. You know, it's uh, nobody's reinventing the wheel. We all owe our gratitude to, yeah. I owe my gratitude to Kiss and, and Sabbath and Zeppelin, all those bands, Deep Purple, obviously, but, uh, but also bands like Paradise Lost, My Dying yeah. Bride, Cathedral, Typo Negative. There's a lot, a lot of great bands, mm. and, uh, and uh, you know, nobody's reinvented the wheel, nobody's reinventing gunpowder. No. We're using the elements mm. that have been there for uh, quite some time, just trying to make our own mixture of it. So, If you could start over, would you go the same way again? Uh, that's, a tough, that's a tough question. Um, let's say that I've had so many good experiences being in the band him, I wouldn't change a thing. But then again, I might go to school and not do music at all. <laughs> Just sell, sell vibrators in my dad's sex shop. I'd probably do something like that. But uh, I don't know. How was it to work as a little boy in, in the sex shop of your dad? Um, uh, it was unnerving. <laughs> that's, that's what. Uh, I don't think they influence the music in any way, but, uh, <laughs> but uh, you get to see uh, a lot of interesting characters yeah. in there, and uh, and uh, you know you get good discount. How old were you at that time? Uh, maybe 17. I don't know. 17. Maybe. So, and did he explain everything to you what it is and, and how to use it? <laughs> well, it, it's, it, it's pretty self-explanatory, you know, when you see that stuff. So it's an either a hole or then it's a thing you can shove in a hole okay. or then it's a movie so um, it's pretty simple once you get the basic idea it's down so uh, uh, and it hasn't changed that much okay let me say thank you so much for meeting you thank you a great pleasure. all the best for the mm -hmm. future the Did best you? for 2010 mm -hmm. and a lot of success with every for everybody involved work coming up right up